Alrighty, welcome to another edition of Achievement College. I'm Aussie Gamer 17 and here we are with, what is this, part 4 of my Untitled Goose Game video. Now, from where we left off at the end of the last video, just head inside the door and the little scene will play out and you'll be kicked out the other side of the building. And don't forget the way to go, it's not that way, you want to head down this way. No, not back in there, this way, that's right. And the reason I'm leaving this in the video is just here. Don't forget to unlock this gate, guys. Make sure you unlock that. That'll come in handy a little bit later on. And what we're going to do here is head up towards this area, which is called the pub. But before we go in, we're actually going to go back to grab another achievement, guys. Grab this box and drag it down this way. All right, leave it there to open this gate and then drag the box across this bridge here. And we're gonna find out why we opened that uh, gate I just told you about a moment ago. Probably could have gone the top of the well there, goosey goose. I like to go the long way sometimes. All right, and head down here. And you may recognize that yard we can see there. And now you'll sort of know where we are. And we're going to go up this way. I do apologize. We opened that other gate earlier for something a little bit later on, but we definitely needed to open it, guys. Trust me. All right. And bring the box into the man's yard. Our buddy from the last video. Once you get it about here, just hop inside. And once inside, honk to grab the man's attention and he's going to come over. And the achievement we're going for is for being thrown over the fence. I reckon I wasted about an hour or two trying to get the man to throw me um, just the goose itself over the fence. Uh, but here we go. As we stated in the last video, he throws everything over the fence. Except for geese, apparently. Alright, there we go. There's that achievement. Okay, and something else we need when we're at the pub is we actually need to be wearing the ribbon from the uh, the geese. You know, the one that we just got at the end of the last video. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the lady to put it back on us again. I'd like to go in this way and wait for the lady to head up the stairs there. Open up our entrance. Get rid of the ribbon, just pop it anywhere. What we want to do is hide this uh, duck thingy again. All right, we're going to hide it behind here this time. Doesn't matter. Hide it anywhere. Go on, get out of the way, duck. All right. And we're going to sit back in the spot where the ribbon goes. Honk to grab her attention and wait for her to come over. I'll just edit that out of the video. She's fixing the uh, gate first. And now she's going to pop the ribbon on for us. Once you've got the ribbon on, now you cannot exit out the way that is up here. Just wanted to show you. Do not go out there the ribbon will get stuck in the bushes. Uh, but I wanted to go out that way and do the uh, the soccer goal achievement and all that anyway. We're going to go out this way. And we couldn't do this earlier because we hadn't opened up these gates. But yeah, heading back to where we got the box. You'll notice the box is gone. Now to get past this guy, I just undo his shoelaces. He'll chase you relentlessly unless you undo his shoelaces. And now we need to be quick because after he gets up from the four you might have just seen, he may chase after us. And we want to do this little achievement here or this little, um, well, it is an achievement because we're wearing the ribbon guys. So they asked us to honk. We honked. They asked us to bow. We bowed and they want us to wave our wings. So we wave our wings. They give us the flower, but we get the achievement because we're wearing the ribbon. And being awarded the flower is part of the uh, checklist here at the pub. Now over here, I'm actually trying to get him to play darts. It, I have seen it work, but I'm not sure if it's a fluke or not. Um, I decided to give up here. I feel like he's just going to sit back down. Yeah, he, he keeps trying to sit down and play the harmonica. So we're going to work on something else. He's not going to sit down while I'm right there. I'm just going to hide behind the barrel. When he goes to sit down, move the chair, knock that item off our list, and then also grab his hat for another achievement. Make sure you've got it. Make sure you take it away from him for that achievement and slash checklist item to count. 
Now I wanted to go back over here and see if he was going to go play darts, but he didn't. So we're going to work on something else first. I'll show you the, uh, the darts portion of this area a little bit later. All right, what you want to do is turn this tap on. We want that boat that's in the sink there. And while that's filling up, you need to distract this woman as much as you can. I'm going to pull this out. Just cause as much commotion as you can around here. And if she gets too worked up, just hide under the tables. She'll give up after a minute. But make sure she doesn't go turn that tap off. So she's heading over there again. Honk at her. Get her to chase you back down here. There she goes. Sometimes she'll go and fix that cork in the uh, the beer keg or the beer barrel. All right, should be enough now for us to get the boat. And we're gonna grab another achievement with the boat. Now, stealing the boat is one of the, uh, or getting the boat is one of the uh, checklist, the normal checklist items. But taking the boat out is for a separate achievement. Now, the old man's gonna chase us. And what I wanna do is go this way to get back out without him um, getting the boat off us, guys. So head around here. And we're gonna head down this way. We've just uh, taken the box down this way a little bit earlier. Now, not, not just dropping the boat in the water. We wanna hop in the water and we have to sail the boat under this bridge or under a bridge. And we're gonna use this one. It's obviously the easiest. Uh, if I could get him to go the right way. Just uh, push him, open up your wings, I find helps. And eventually the uh, current will start taking him. And there's the achievement for that one as well, guys. Head back into the pub and into the garden. This time the old man's playing darts. Wait until he really loads up and honk. Just like that. And the dartboard will fall and we'll cross that one off the list as well. Okay, heading back upstairs back into this area. There's a number of items that we need to grab, starting here with the uh, salt shaker. You can just drop it through this little hole here. We need to set the table. You can check your checklist for the items that are required, but we need the salt shaker, we need a knife and fork, we need the candle, and we need a plate. You can see a fork on the ground just behind her. Uh, there's another fork uh, in another location. You'll see it later when I grab the knife. And there is another knife up in the back left-hand corner of um, that dining area. We're just gonna hide these two items under here. And then when we grab the knife and the uh, candle, well, first of all, we're gonna hide the knife there as well. Once we grab the candle, we can start moving everything. So what we'll do is I'm just, uh, just observing what she's gonna do. And we're gonna grab this knife here. And I'm gonna go hide it where we hid the fork and the uh, salt. So I've hidden it there. And now we're going to grab the candle right down on this side of the area, the dining area. Grab the candle. Don't go down these stairs because the uh, man will probably chase you. It's okay if she chases you because we're going to make it under here and she'll give up once you go under here eventually. All right, I'm just going to wait for her to give up because if we went all the way through, I'm not sure that she wouldn't... Um, open the door to the back area and that we do not want. All right, we're gonna pop the candle on here and then you're gonna go back and forth and put everything else we've already grabbed up on here. So we've got the, the knife and fork, the salt and the candle on this little table. Head up here and grab a plate and then pop it on the table and there we go. Now guys, eventually once you've got enough of the things crossed off on your list, the lady is gonna have had enough of you and she's gonna head out the back here and grab this sign which reveals some tomatoes. Tomato, tomato. Anyway, once she leaves, we're gonna grab one of the tomatoes. This is what I call the just-in-case tomato. I'm gonna to pop it there, and I'm gonna grab another one, and I'm gonna take it out here, and we're gonna place it right about there. That's the, uh, the plan A tomato. And we're gonna run down here, honk at the old man. Not at them, goose. Honk at him, he's gonna chase after you. We want him to see the tomato. Make sure he chases us all the way up here, into, go in the hole. He'll give up on us, he'll see the tomato, and go, oh, I better put that away. Once he's uh, got full attention on the tomato, go up the stairs. Now, we won't need the just-in-case tomato for this run, but if you do, see, if you're too slow, you might get caught by the lady. We want to drop the bucket on his head. If you're too slow, he'll go and pick up the other tomato and pop it down there. All right, so dropping the bucket on his head 
actually opens up the exit and ends the checklist for this area. Um, I think we've got one more item. You see I grabbed the pint glass off the table. While they're all uh, dealing with the bucket situation out the back, we grab the pint glass, we exit the place, and we drop it in the water. Now you won't see the achievement on my screen, guys, because I actually did this streaming over on Twitch and managed to pick up that achievement over there, guys. So make sure you go and follow me over on Twitch if you want to see more things like this. Um, go and do the uh, little uh, play again. This time we need the flower again because we have finished the checklist, but we're gonna go grab another side achievement before I end this video and then show you the end of the game as well, guys. Grab the flower from the ladies. If it's not on the ground somewhere, you may have to do the performance again. As you can see there, I haven't reset anything. I'm still wearing the ribbon. So this is all in one continuous playthrough, guys. I think this whole video is, I do believe. All right. I mean, obviously I've done some edits and things like that. So once you've got that flower, pop it in the basket out near this well. I didn't really explain where we were going, but that's where we need to put all five different flowers for an achievement, guys. This time head through this gate. Don't miss the entrance like I did there. We're gonna head into this entrance of the, uh, the first area, the garden again. And you remember this flower, grab this flower. We're not gonna uh, trick the old man with it this time. We're gonna head back to the basket. Pop this flower in here, three more to go. The next flower is off this direction. I can't remember which one I got next in the video. We're about to find out though. I think this is to the shop, isn't it? Or the high street. Yeah, it is. So there's the other back entrance to or exit to the garden. We're gonna head down to the shop. Probably gonna need to distract the shopkeeper. Just keep this in the video so you guys know where we're going. Um, or where, how to get from place to place. All right, let's distract her. Let's pick up the uh, chalk. No, get it, get it, get it. There we go. She'll chase after that. Pop it there. And now we'll beat her into the shop. And the flower is out the back here, out near the glasses stand. Grab the flower and run off with that. Back to the basket. There we go. What's that? Three, three flowers there now. Don't worry about the other one. All right, and let's go for flower number four. This is the rose that we uh, chopped off before. Now, obviously, if you've reset things, um, you're gonna need the lady to chop the rose off again. Um, for me, it's already, um, it's still on the ground, I was, gonna, I was gonna say. It is still on the ground, but sometimes the old man will pick it up if he notices it, and he will um, fix it back onto the bush, I guess for lack of a better word. And what I'm gonna show here, guys, is he he is gonna see me trying to get this rose out, and he's gonna grab it off me. Um, I wanted to leave this in the video, guys, because it's really, really, really annoying. If he manages to tie it back on, then you need to um, get the lady to chop it off again. And we do not want to do that. So if he picks it up, it's really, really hard to get it back off him. But just pester him. I decided to let him go down the stairs because I, this uh, archway was getting in my way too much. Um, so get him down the stairs. Now, I'm just trying to stop him. What he's trying to do is he's gonna attach it to where it originally was. If he does that, you need to get the lady to chop it off again. Um, but if you keep pestering him, you will get an opportunity. Here we go, here we go. Have I got it? No, he got it back again. You wouldn't believe it, but there we go. All right, we got it. So I just wanted to show that it's possible to do it that way. Uh, it may or may not work for you guys, if it does, um, get put back on the bush, you know how to get it anyway. All right, grab it, bring it back to the basket, and we have one final flower to get. Now, the final flower is in the end area of the game. We haven't been there yet. To get there, we go up through the back of the pub area, head up here where we got the plate, and out onto the dumpster. The dumpster's only gonna be situated like that if you've already dropped the bucket on the man's head open this gate so that we can get back through later on. Head through here and we're gonna be in the model village. And just over here on the right hand side is a yellow flower. Grab that and make your way all the way back the way we came back to the basket. Um, some people will try and grab it off you. You guys should know by now how to get it back off them. And pop it in, there we go. Collect the five flowers, grab the achievement. Very, very good. 
But that is not all, guys. That is not the end of the video, and we are going to go through to the end of the game. So by the end of this video, all we're going to have left is the speed runs. Okay, so what you want to do, starting with where we got the final flower, is head through the model village. Head up through here. It sort of follows a path that you took for the main game anyway, through the miniature version. And once you get to the back of that, that has another miniature, <laughs> Go to this miniature uh, sort of tower out here and destroy it. Vandalism 101. Just keep pecking away until it reveals this sort of uh, thing that you can grab onto here and just pull it and keep pulling it until the whole tower falls down, guys. Keep going. Keep going. All right, there you go. Now drop this. Wait for the bell to fall out. And we want to pick up the bell. Now our goal is to get the bell all the way home, back to the very, very start of the game, guys. Now, when you go fast, or you hold the A button, or press the A button, the bell will make that noise. Uh, it is going to make the uh, human NPCs in the game chase after you. They are going to try and take the bell off you, and without doubt, at some stage, one or two of them will get the bell off you before you can get it back. Uh, if it's your first go. I, I know it is possible to get the bell back without any of them getting it from you. Um, I'm going to show you. They will pick it up and they will just put it down. They'll take it off you. They'll put it down somewhere. For example, I'm about to get caught here at the pub. And I'm going to drop the bell. And then the old uh, the grumpy bouncer man is going to chase me out of the pub. I'm going to end up sneaking back in, guys. So he's chasing me out. The old man picks up the bell and puts it up in here on a table. So if you lose it in the pub, this is probably where you're going to end up finding it. Run under the table, they'll give up, and we can get the bell again. All right. Now head all the way back past the well. When you get to the well, you want to go this way because there are different gates and different doors that have been uh, shut off and shortcuts have been locked, stuff like that. So go that way from the well and then get into the lady's garden. She obviously got it off me again uh, while I was trying to uh, open up this way through again. But anyway, through there, the other thing you need to do is in the man's garden, this gate is now open and we're gonna go down this way. Uh, another thing here is when we get to the garden, the old man is blocking his gate, but that's okay. We can just go through here. He does not chase us which is very, very fortunate. So go through here, then cross the lake, and this is back the way we went at the very, very start of the game, guys. It's, it's a cool little game, guys, a cool journey. Guys, if you're watching this and you found this helpful, uh, and you have a few extra dollars, please consider, actually one extra dollar, please consider supporting me over on Patreon. You can become a member of Aussie's Army for just one dollar. When you get here, guys, drop the bell and that ends the game. You'll get an achievement for finishing the game there. The credits will roll. Um, now, what I was saying about Patreon, there is a link in the video description, guys. Only if you can support me there. That is how I'm going to end up funding doing guides like this, guys. So any support there will be greatly appreciated. Now, if you did find this helpful, please remember to give us a thumbs up. Drop us a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, and obviously... Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All of those three options are completely free, of course, guys. Oh, there's the bell, guys. You know what that means. Class dismissed.